or secure the temperature which is desired and preferable inside his shipping container is going to be. This is genius. Thank you lots of fish. And so my fish, no problem. Every fish in the box in great shape, thumbs up, can't wait to give positive feedback. I'm not surprised because I learned on Aquabid that oh, lots of fish has a 98.8% positive feedback from uh, 6,275 or so transactions. 99.8 out of over 6,000 transactions. Yeah, hey, lots of fish knows what's going on, and he throws in extras, and he plays music uh, <laughs> on his auctions. So one of his taglines at the bottom of every auction, it says, um, I will fearlessly ship in any tent. He's promising to get your fish to you alive. It's his specialty. I've just explained it. It absolutely is his specialty. There's probably 10 steps <clears throat> that he's taken in this shipment, and I'm sure all the others, that my previous shipments, plural, have never taken. Ten extra steps, okay? That said, let's agree that this is a good shipment. It was not a cheap shipment, okay? Now, you can have good and cheap, usually not at the same time. That's, that's good info for you here on River Life. And lots of fish on Aquabid decided to go with quality instead of kind of a value price. Although I'm, I'm not, my feelings aren't hurt. It's a bid. I didn't have to, I didn't have to bid. I bid. As a matter of fact, my maximum bid wasn't reached. I would have paid more. It's the first time that I had received anything. I've been following this guy on Aquabid for a while. First auction that I've won. Man, I'm going to recommend if lots of fish has uh, uh, a listing that you like, bid on it with confidence. This is my only experience. I'm telling you what the record book says, and I'm recommending this guy. Uh, some other points I picked up <clears throat> from his aqua bid site. So, excuse me, I'm, I'm going to have to have a drink. It's just that time of the day. All right, that was water, by the way, just in case. It won't always be, but it was that time. So, uh, all of his auctions start at a dollar. He's been doing it a long time. He's got a following. I don't think you're ever going to get one of his auctions for a dollar, but hey, here it is, people. It's a buck. Be it away. And they do. They do often. Uh, free shipping. Shipping's included. So, what you bid is what you pay. And this was, uh, yeah, second day, priority mail, USPS, in great shape. He always throws in some extra fish species. We got the two different plecos and, and the glowfish and uh, their community tank oriented. Uh, he did ask me um, if I had another tank, so I will not be putting uh, the glowfish in with the puffers and the coolie loaches. They'll go someplace else. I'm not even sure yet. But I did tell him that I had some extra water going. I could I could house some extra fish. So those were the goodies he threw in. No charge. Oh, and on so he takes close up pictures and like a uh, 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 a dip and pour. You know the dip and pour plastic clear. He uses that kind of thing as a, a photograph tank. Photographs all the pictures or all the fish that are auctioned and then the caption for each picture is you have my permission to use lots of fish photos. So, if there's ever a fish that he sold that is available on Aquabid with a photograph, you're free to use it. So it does, you know, he I guess wants credit, you know, give the photo credit to lots of fish, no problem. I think that's a good offering for the community. I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> at the end of each auction, his last tagline is, I don't mess around. I like that. He's coming right at you, fish keepers. He wants you to know that he's not playing. He doesn't mess around. And I've shown you here that he doesn't mess around. That's right. Vapor barrier. That's the takeaway from today's unboxing from, oh, lots of fish up there in Kenmore, New York. Uh, let's see here. Does his own food. Sent me some uh, veggie sticks and freeze-dried 
plankton and a nice huge portion of hornwort. Uh huh. Ships fearlessly in all temps. Um, okay. Oh, here it is. Final point. So, 6,200 plus transaction, 21, almost 2,200 unique buyers. Okay, that means he's doing a lot of repeat business. People like myself have gotten a great shipment and they've gone back to Aquabed and bought from them again, knowing uh, the quality of the fish and uh, how well the shipment's going to do. Okay, I apologize for that noise in the background. Some, some, somebody on the crew has forgotten to silence their cell phone. Yeah. So uh, that uh, that crew person will be dealt with <clears throat> in, in a kind manner. Sorry about that. <laughs> so 2,200 people unique, 6,200 transactions. So. Man, it's like the average customer, if you ran the numbers, it would be like everybody that's bought from this guy has bought three times. So not only do they have a good experience, a unique good experience, but a second and a third. So, and that's why I like to do business. If I order something, it comes in great shape in a timely manner, and the transaction was good. Hey, guess what? I found a vendor. I want to stick with you, man. So I think that's the way the community rolls. And this guy seems to be very descriptive and uh, up front, the order came in as I expected. I saw a photograph of the very fish that I received before I bid on them. I have noticed in some of his auctions, if, if the auction is for five fish and he's showing you a picture of nine of them, he'll say, your fish are coming from this pile. It'll be some of those. And uh, yeah, no, no problem. Uh, and I would trust this guy on the next order. I really do appreciate him throwing in all the stuff. Uh, and he just, I think he gets the hobby. He gets the fun side of the hobby. He's doing great business, and I'm glad for him. I'm going to support him. I hope you do. But, man, he makes it fun. He plays the music. He's got all the background on his head. He puts a lot of time into it. He packs like a daggone pro. And the fish that he finds, you know, uh, it's, it's not your bread and butter fish, you know. So you don't feel bad about going around your local fish store. They don't keep that stuff. It's too risky. It stays on the shelf a long time. Not a high profit margin. I get it. But um, uh, it's it's not a better fish. Or not necessarily even a rare fish. It's, there's something about it though. And he's tapped into it. And his auctions go uh, above average prices. One thing I've noticed he deals in are guppies. He's got some pretty daggone good looking guppies. Nebula Steel. Uh, one batch, uh, it was so fun. I bid on the thing right up to the end of the auction and I was in a bidding war and whomever, one or two, however many people were bidding, we were delirious with that <laughs> bidding fever and we were just <laughs> bidding. What I'm sure all of us had the same feeling. Why am I bidding so much on these guppies? Well, first of all, they were beautiful guppies. I described their tails as being tie-dyed. Just lots of colors and, and the way that they were blended together. I, oh, man, I wanted those guppies. So I made my final bid and knew that I'd won and got a notice like seconds before the end of the auction that I'd been outbid. And as soon as I made the next bid and hit enter, simultaneously the screen popped up, auction closed. And I didn't win the guppies. And I was so broken hearted. Yet again, foiled by other bidders on a lots of fish auction. So, bid often, bid high, <laughs> figure out what you want, and if you want it, get it. Figure out what you're going to be about and get busy being about it. And uh, I'm encouraged by lots of fish. When I go to his site, I'm not looking for cheap. I know it's going to be good. The photographs are there to show me the fish are great. I've now experienced the shipping. He has another group of fish that I want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow my own advice. And I'm gonna bid whatever it is that I think I want to bid to receive those fish. So this has been a lot of fun. Thanks for sharing this time with me. This is some of the most fun I've had doing an unboxing, and a lot of that goes to the pre-work that the vendor, lots of fish, put into this auction, and I appreciate him very much. Until the next time, I want you guys to get out there and see it, love it, and live it. Take it easy.